family, what's good? KD Bo Show. I am KD Bo, along with my co-host Rod Minger and the beautiful, amazingly mm. talented, and she could sing too. That girl, good. Wow, she had way more adjectives than me, but it's okay. <laughs> well, Tony. for somebody who was indescribable, oh. AKA <laughs> no shade. Indescribable. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. All right, so let's jump into this one because this is one that um, you know, in in the little show prep, it was a bit of a challenge as we discussed it because mm-hmm. this is the, it's a, it's a sensitive topic, and it's not that you want to bash anybody. Correct. However, it, it's one of those conversations that branches off into a lot of different conversations. Right. The name Lori Harvey. Okay. Mm-hmm. First of all, <laughs> that's throwing me all the way off too, because how does she get the Lori Harvey? How'd you get her Harvey last night? I think her, okay. I love how you set me up. Um, I believe, because he could have looked at you. He could have. Um, he, he took it the right direction. But, <laughs> you know, her mom, her mom, Marjorie Harvey, is married to Steve Harvey. And she gave them and the she, name? She took Steve Harvey's last name. I, I believe her her father is actually serving time. Mm. Don't know how the okay. how we right. got to taking Steve Harvey's name. Not my business, but I'm just, I think that's the case. Okay. Um, so well, that's Scarface that is went. not a last name, so. I went too far? I went there? Okay. Mm. This is the line and I touched it. See, here's the thing. What I'm not going to do is, is, is not, I'm not going to be mowed down by a mob boss at all. So, uh, yeah. uh, Mr. Uh, Pre Harvey, you know, before <laughs> your last name was, I don't know your name. Just what I'm saying. I, that, that wasn't me. Lori Daddy. <laughs> that wasn't Katie Bo. I, I didn't say that was, that was uh, uh, Rod, Rod, uh, you know, Mexico. Uh, so, uh, yeah. So when you talk about her, one of the things that, that pops up is the fact that, you know, she's been with a lot of, you know, notable guys yeah. in the sense of high value mm-hmm. guys like uh, I think Future. Meek Mill, allegedly Trey Songs, Puff Daddy, Diddy, whatever he wants to be called. They're actually um, two different people. too. Also, uh-uh. also his son. Um, <laughs> well, wait, wait, wait. Whose son? Diddy. She was with Diddy. It son? was rumored that she dated them both. Rumored, rumored that she dated them both. Yep. And then, you know, and Future was like, I think Future was when we really started kind of paying a lot of attention to it. Why? I have no idea. I think because he was so toxic and people were like, yes, she won. And I'm like, "Mm, I don't know. (laughs) Y'all wasn't cheering for her? And like the women weren't cheering for her on like social media? I don't think I was. I I mean, no, it could have been a different story on the timeline. Mm -hmm. Um, I, I, I think Future's a dope artist or whatever, but you know the stuff that he tends to get into sometimes. Yeah. It's just it be a lot. So I don't know, and I, and that's not to pass judgment. It's just that's not not my wheelhouse. So can we pause for a second and talk about this whole judgment piece, right? Because people say we don't shouldn't judge, but mm-hmm. now I don't. We all judge. We judge mm-hmm. because that's what we do. And the Bible didn't tell you not to judge. It says judge not according to appearance, right. but judge righteous judgment. Mm-hmm. So the kind of judgment in which you are talking about a person and you are making them, you know, something that is beyond, like you don't know what a person's intents are. Right. So right. when you're <laughs> negatively judging somebody, then that's judging. But we all, that's negatively judging, but we all judge. So you ain't got to feel bad about judging because we all do it. And mm-hmm. I'm not, I, what I'm saying is, I want to talk about this piece of it because Michael B. Jordan was one of those guys that she was recently seen with. And I wasn't on the radar of understanding who a Lori Harvey was. Honestly, for the first time, I saw her for the first time when we talked about this article, I Googled her and it's like, yeah, she fine. She she got a little fine. She's like, yeah. she her fine ain't on layaway. It's like yeah. she got it all the way. She paid it yeah. and got it out. It's the luxury right. mall. Yeah, right. Mm-hmm. From right from from the top, the top tier. Sex. Yeah, you better believe it. <laughs> yeah. So um, not the kiosk at Linux. But but when I looked at some of the articles, they were they weren't so much besmirching her mm-hmm. because they had already besmirched her. Yeah. It yeah. was Michael B. Jordan that they were saying him dealing with her brought his value down. Mm. I don't. Okay, there's that's there's power in that, and that's what I wanted. You know, out. I my thing is I don't think anybody who you with is who you with. You know what I'm saying? I mm-hmm. don't think me dealing with somebody would bring my value down. I think if that's what I chose at that time, that's just what I chose. I'm not. I, I think that that's a tricky subject to say that somebody's value is compromised by dealing with another person. I believe you, that that's be say, true though. You I, say, I think that can happen. You think that. You think you think that specifically about Lori and Michael? No, I don't know them well enough to know that. And that's my point. My point is, I don't think I know anybody's inner dealings enough to say but something. I like do that. know that if as a man, 
we typically want to deal seriously with those who haven't had such a lengthy resume and it's known. Ah, All right, this see, is a good this that's, is a good that's, topic. That's the gray area. Going here. That's I don't gray know area. about the gray area because if you unless you're gonna tell me that you know what, Bo, I want a woman that has been with five of my homeboys. Oh no, no, because see, she's see, amazing. You, you better no, why am I see, pushing it? No, that, see, because a lot of these cats know each that. other. But no, they don't know each other. Though. They, yeah, I mean, they know each other because the, they're all that's not the typical they're situation. all celebrities. Yeah. That's why I know. I don't think they're that's homeboys. That's my point. I, the list is not that long, right? To yeah. me, she's twenty. What four? Yeah, twenty-four. She's twenty-four. She just 24 and yes, that okay, list. So, so two. List, so two is good. So she, you, you cool with her if she been with two of your homeboys? No, those guys are homeboys. They're That's just, what I'm saying. They're, they're just celebrities. celebrities. We just know them. My bad. So you cool no, with her if she no. been with one of your homeboys? No, not now. Nobody's gonna. No guy wants to date somebody that dated one of his homeboys. Okay. Nor no do a guy. Certain, do. certain guys that that's a whole other show. Not my business. What happens? But there are certain guys who don't want to deal with you if you've been in the public and people have seen you with somebody else and you are known as that person that's been with somebody else. One person. Yeah. But five? That's a that's a thing. I think it's Again, just no negative judgment for her. But that's a thing. And I'm saying for a guy, like a high value guy, yeah. high high character guy, which is two mm-hmm. different things. High value, high character, two different things. Correct. No, we, I'm good, player. I don't really. Uh, for, for our straight. listeners, can you clarify the difference between high, high value, value means you make a lot of money. You can be a drug dealer and be a high value guy. So future Meek Mill, Trey Connor, act. high high value guys, right? All right, I'm telling you, they like stuff that is exclusively theirs. Now let me just throw this out. Clearly, this is, they do let, not. Let, well, well, then there's that. I'm a pivot because there is a, a conversation that is being had as of why her or why women like her. They seem right. to always do the circuit or they're always around. They're always, it's like, ain't no other women out here. Why y'all keep picking these ones? Now that's a conversation to be had. I have a, I feel like I got an answer for it, but right. I really want to hear from you. Tell me what you think. We're going to discuss it, but tell me what you think in the comment section. What do you think? Why is it that there are certain women, and I won't just call names like, you know, the Kardashians before she got, you know, yeah. you know Kardashian West and the other ones, okay? <laughs> that they they find themselves in the industry and you say, oh, I thought she was with so-and-so. No, no, no. She was so-and-so now. Oh, uh, no, no. Actually, they, she ain't with him no more. She with him. And it's like the same person. Why is that? It's the Katie Bo Show.